My name is Dada Gomez and today I'm going to be giving an informative speech on epidural anesthesia. The general purpose of my speech is to inform and the specific purpose is to inform people who might not know about epidural, its risks, its benefits, um, and although this is a very popular drug, there is a lot of things to know about it. What is an epidural? An epidural is a regional anesthesia that blocks pain in a particular region of the body. The main goal is to provide uh, or actually relieve pain. The cause of this is nerve impulses that are being blocked off from lower spinal segments. An ep epidural considers to be a local anesthetic and is often delivered in a combination with other narcotics like fentanyl and sulfentanil to decrease the required dose. Uh, one of the risks which I'll talk about later is the mother's blood pressure to drop and when this, this does happen there's three other medications that uh, Epidural is usually combined with, and that's fentanyl, epinephrine, and morphine. These work together to prolong the effect and stabilize the mother's uh, blood pressure when it does drop. An epidural is usually giving, given to the mom uh, when she is about 4 to 5 centimeters in, uh, dilated and she's in true active labor. The process of an epidural is uh, before anything the mother has to undergo through 1 to 2 liters of IV fluids into her body. Once that's done, either an anesthesiologist, an OB, or a nurse anesthetist, which are, which are the only three people who are allowed to give an epidural, come into the room and have the patient, the woman, uh, arch her back or lie on her left side. Uh, but at all times, she's not supposed to move because this can cause uh, permanent nerve damage to her. So once that's done, an area on her back will be numbed with a local anesthetic. And she... Uh, Antiseptic solution will be applied to uh, uh, for not to pre prevent infections. A needle is then inserted. The catheter uh, thre is threaded to the needle in the epidural space, and once that's done, the periodic injections as needed to the for pain will be administered. If you're like me and you're a visual learner, you'll need a, a visual. So that's why I'm going to show a video just to show the process of how an epidural is administered. This animation shows how an epidural is given during childbirth. Epidural analgesia relieves pain without putting you to sleep. It's usually given early in labor. Click the navigation arrows below the animation screen to play, pause, rewind, or fast forward the animation. You will be asked to either lie on your side with your knees drawn up to your tummy and your chin tucked in, or to sit up on the bed and lean forward. Both positions open up the spaces between the bones in your lower back. Your anesthetist carefully selects a point to inject by feeling for specific bones in the spine. He or she may mark this site with a pen to show where to put the injection. Your anesthetist will inject a small amount of local anesthetic into your skin. This completely blocks feeling in the area. When the skin is numb, a larger epidural needle is passed into the epidural space, which is the space outside the membranes that surround the spinal cord. When the needle reaches the correct spot, a fine plastic tube or cannula is inserted through the center of the needle. The needle is then removed and the tube is left running from the epidural space to the outside. The tube is held in place with adhesive tape. Your anesthetist uses the tube to inject local anesthetic or other pain relief medicines directly into the epidural space. Your anesthetist may attach a pump to the tube so that you can have a top-up when it's needed. It may be possible to control this yourself. This is called patient-controlled analgesia, or PCA. When the need for pain relief has passed, the tube is carefully taken out and the area is covered with a plaster. This is the end of the animation. Click on the animation screen to watch it again. So after this is done, uh, it takes about 10 to 20 minutes for the epidural to take effect on the patient, the woman. 
There's two types of uh, epidural. There's the regular and there's the combined spinal epidural. Uh, they both have their benefits and their risks. According, according to one of my sources, Cunningham, in his uh, article, Epidural During Labor, some of the benefits include that it allows you to rest and remain alert uh, during the childbirth and it might promote a more positive uh, birth experience. It also helps deal with uh, fatigue, exhaustion, and er irritability. Some of the risks include uh, for the blo blood pressure to drop and when this does happen, interventions like IV fluid, um, medications and oxygen has to be used to control that. There can also be leakage of spinal fluid causing headache. This happens about 1% of the time, but it does happen. And when it does, uh, uh, something called a blood patch is uh, used when it's when the mother's uh, own blood is administered through the epidural space to relieve this uh, headache. There's also shivering, uh, nausea, backache, difficulty urinating, and permanent uh, nerve damage. Sometimes it, uh, there's also, it's harder for the woman to uh, push, and sometimes it can prolong labor, and other that's when C-sections uh, have to occur. There's also risks for the baby when it comes to an epidural. Uh, there's la uh, latching on, the baby can have problems latching on after for breastfeeding. Uh, respiratory depression, fetal malpositioning, and forced vacuuming, and like I said, C-section sometimes do occur. Uh, according to my aunt in her testimony, I, I interviewed her, she's the uh, most recent person to have a baby. She said that uh, the pain of childbirth is very excruciating, but she would take the epidural again because the relief was uh, awesome, and she does say that she has side effects, so for example, especially during winter, sometimes when she's lying down on her back, uh, the space where the epidural was given, it hurts her a lot, So she, but she would do it uh, again. So in conclusion, an epidural is just another drug that brings relief to many women, just like many other medications. It has its risks and its benefits. According to Gilbert Grant in one of his journals, uh, Epidural Without Pain, uh, he mentions that no matter what risk there is, 60% of women still choose to have epidurals and he only projects this number to increase over the year, years. Also another article in one of my other sources, Joel Catherine, in Women Prefer Longer Labor, she also mentions how uh, women do prefer uh, short uh, relief and so that's why they choose the epidural to have uh, instant relief and better child uh, birth experiences. But at the end of the day, Epidural is just another medication in the world with its risks and its benefits, just like any other drug.